Welcome everybody, my name is Krzysztof and I will have a live demo of uh, one data. Uh, Konrad already introduced me, but I will briefly say something about me. I'm a developer at, at one data and I'm mainly responsible for deployment and configuration of our components. I also work with uh, storage helpers and uh, Fuse client. So uh, we've prepared a demo environment which consists of five virtual machines. Each virtual machine has a, a public IP address. In four of them, uh, there is one data component deployed. Uh, they are in Dockers. So we've got here uh, one zone. And we've also got two providers running on the uh, two other virtual machines. And we've got uh, another virtual machine where we've got two, uh, one, one clients, uh, both running in Dockers. And those three virtual machines have access to a NFS server which is hosted on the fifth uh, virtual machine so that uh, both one provider and one client has uh, access to the, to the data. Now, enough talking. Let's, let's try to play with one data and hope it will be a cheerful game. Let's go to one zone. So this is how it looks like, the, the page of one zone. I will log in into one zone using one of uh, OpenID providers. I will choose uh, Dropbox. I will provide uh, my credentials. And now we are in. This is my first login and we've got a message here that we are supposed to get a provider to support our space. Uh, I will go ahead and create uh, three spaces. I will name the first one Catania space. Uh, create another one which will be ENF, oh, ENFN space. And the last one, which will be called a common space. Right, we've got uh, three spaces, but no support yet. Uh, let's go ahead and get some support. Oh, right. Uh, so here we've got a token. With this token, which I have to, I guess, make it a bit small. Oh, right, we can click here to copy this token. And with this token, we have to pass it to a provider so that he can support uh, our space. Uh, as I mentioned before, we've got two providers. One of them is named Catania. Uh, and here we've got uh, the view of an administrative panel. Uh, so here is a page where we can uh, support space. Uh, there is already one uh, storage attached to this provider and it's called NFS and it's actually an NFS. So here we paste the token, and uh, we uh, specify the amount of our support, let's say 10 gigabytes, and we press OK. Now our Catania space is supported. We'll go ahead and uh, support other, other spaces. Uh, ENFN space will be supported by the other uh, provider, once again, we are in an administrative panel of ENFN provider. We go to support, paste token, specify, let's say, 100 gigabytes. Uh, and we are good to go. And the last, last uh, space, which will be supported by two providers. So we get first token, go over here. Yes, and another one. Oh, no, here. Uh, okay. And we are in the pen. Right. Uh, so having that done, we are good to go to login into our providers. On the map, 
we've got the view of the location of providers. Uh, we've got yes. two providers which are visualized on this, uh, actually their location is visualized on this map. So here is uh, Catania and here is ENFN. Uh, during, the pro uh, during the registration process, uh, providers uh, can specify uh, the GAL location so that they can be uh, visualized on this map and that users can uh, easily switch between them and they know where they are going. So I will go to, e uh, to the Catania provider. I click here and been redirected to the uh, provider. Yes, uh, my, my default space, which has been created for me, uh, is not supported, and I got this message, but I will switch to a Catania space. Uh, so we go ahead and uh, upload first file. I've uh, downloaded uh, some uh, images of Sicily, uh, and I will, ah, the first one, I, I will upload this lovely uh, picture. And it says that it's been uploaded, so we can now download it to desktop. Right, save and display it. Right. Okay. The same thing we can uh, do with well, uh, with the uh, other provider. Just by clicking here on providers, we will be redirected back to uh, one zone. We can click uh, here or on the map uh, to go to the other provider. Once again, we will switch this time to an NFN space uh, and upload a second one, a second picture. Now, uh, th th this was the spaces that, that were supported by a single provider. Now I will switch to a uh, switch to a space which is uh, supported by uh, multiple providers, uh, and in this case by two. <laughs> so here we are in a common space, and we go ahead and upload other file. Okay, now we've been in ENFN provider. We will go to uh, Catania provider, switch to a, a common space, and we see that the file is present here, but it uh, hasn't been yet uh, downloaded to this provider. If you would like to access the file from the Catania provider, it, should be, uh, it has to be replicated from uh, ENFN provider to Catania provider so that the user uh, can, can uh, download it. So I will go ahead and click here and download it. And it's over here. Right, uh, and now after this process, uh, close, uh, you will see that the uh, distribution of the file has changed. Now the file has uh, both replica in Catania provider and in ENFN provider. Uh, right, now I will show you how to share a space between users. So to share a space, you have to navigate to uh, Spaces tab. Now I will show you how to uh, invite the user to a space. Uh, I will invite user to a common space, but before I do that, I will log in into uh, account of the, the other user. And now I'm back on uh, one zone uh, login page and I Uh, I will log in as Catania user, which uh, I've created. So, uh, we are in uh, one zone uh, web page. Actually, unfortunately, now we uh, do not support uh, the, uh, the process of uh, joining a space directly in, uh, in uh, one zone, we have to go to a provider GUI. So to do that, I will just uh, support Catania default space to uh, get access to, whoa, right, 
to, uh, to the provider GUI. Uh, support. Okay. And we're back here. Now we can go to the uh, provider GUI. No, no questions, okay. Uh, right. And back here, we, uh, we click on the uh, common space and we request an uh, invitation token for the other user. So we click here to invite user to, to the common space. We uh, get this token. We go to, we pass the token to the, to the other user uh, and navigate to the uh, spaces tab. Click here to join, to join the space and paste the token. We should see users. And here is Catania user, but when we switch to the common space, we see that we've got two users, me and, and Catania Hackfest. Now, uh, back to uh, the data tab. Wow. Uh, we can uh, switch to common space, and we see uh, we are now logged in as a uh, Catania, Catania users, and we have access to the, the file that been pre previously uploaded by me. So we can download it again and it all works. Right, uh, now there've, there's been a question about the groups. I, I will present uh, now briefly how to create a group, how to invite users to this group and with one token uh, create a space for them so that they can uh, use, use this space. So uh, we navigate to groups we uh, click on a create group. I will name it Tanya group, create. Okay, uh, I've been automatically uh, joined this group and uh, now I will invite the user. Okay, I go the token, I go uh, to, I switch to uh, uh, Catania, Catania user, and here in uh, in a group group tab, I can uh, press join, paste token, click join, and I've been uh, and the Catania users have successfully joined uh, the Catania group. Now, uh, the group I've created uh, doesn't have any space. Uh, there are two options. We can uh, I will just refresh the page and we see that the, the both me and Catania user is in the group. Uh, there are two options. Uh, we can either join an existing space as a group or we can request space creation, uh, which I will do. Uh, we get this token. We uh, go to the uh, administrative panel. We, now we click create a space. And now the provider has uh, the opportunity to, to name the space. Actually, he is creating a space for a group of, of people. So I will name it Catania Group Space. And paste the token. I will give a terabyte uh, of storage to this group. And now uh, both uh, me and Catania Hackfest user via this group has access to, uh, to the space, Catania group space. I can now navigate to, uh, to data tab, uh, change to a Catania group space, and upload the file. For instance, this one. Right. And now, as a uh, Catania users, user, oh boy, oh, I made a mistake. Uh, I will go to uh, Catania provider, switch to uh, Catania group space, and I can download the file. So this is basically how we uh, manage uh, groups in one data. There is a concept of nested groups, 
uh, but I will not cover it in this, in this presentation because I, I don't want to make it too complex. Uh, right. So actually, uh, this will uh, conclude the first section of uh, live demo. Now I will present how to use our Fuse client. Once again, to clarify, uh, here I, I've mentioned that you've got two options to, to, support, uh, to support a space for a group. You can either request a space creation where the provider gives the name, or you can join an existing space, which is a space you can create as a user, but still you have to uh, get the support for, for this space. And this time, when you join a space, uh, you've, you've, you've created it, so you've named it. Uh, you can join this space as a group, and then uh, support the space just by, uh, by a token without uh, any name given by a provider. So there are two, two ways to, to support a space for a group. Questions? Hmm? I will move on to, to present how the uh, Fuse client works. So, uh, what I will do, I will uh, SSH on a client machine and ENFM. Okay. I will go into the uh, demo directory and now uh, I've prepared some, uh, some scripts will, which will make the process easier. Uh, actually, I will start one client inside a Docker container, which will uh, mount a fuse to the back to one zone. And here I can create a token. I copy the token. So uh, this token cut and paste is actually done uh, because it's hard to get a token from the command line because of all the open ID stuff. So now, now is what, what's going on. I'm starting a Docker container, which will mount a one client inside. Yeah, the basic approach is add privileged. Uh, the more detailed approach is add uh, mounting okay. capabilities. Yeah, yeah. And it should work. I'm yeah, sorry. OK, no, I'm not crazy then. Mm. Now I will mount a, a second client. So the first one is attached, is connected to the uh, Catania provider, and the other one will be connected to uh, ENFN provider. To do that, I have to get another token. Okay. And you also see that during the process of mounting one client, we fetch some configuration needed for, for him to, uh, to, properly, uh, to properly start. Because the token can be bound to provider because it's a macaron. So okay. Caveats can be added. Yeah. But That's another feature for the future. OK, because for the moment, there is, there is no specification. For the moment, you can use the token only with any provider. OK. Uh, you can find the token to access the provider. But it is technically possible. OK. So I've uh, logged in to, the, to this ma machine. and. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a single VM, but running two, two clients in two containers. So we've got uh, this, this one I will exec into the container I will go into. So docker exec minus it, I will specify which one. So the, it will be Catania, and I want to exec there a bash. So now I can navigate to mnt slash one client. This is the directory where, where the client uh, has been mounted, and at least the, the spaces that are uh, that are present in in, in my uh, they are available to me, and I will do the same uh, on on the to, to, I will attach to the uh, to the other client. Right. So, uh, and also I can list the spaces. So what I'm going uh, now to do is uh, I will create a file and append to this file uh, alternately 
uh, using the first client and, uh, and then switch to the next client and I will append to this file so that we can see uh, the, the distribution of blocks, of file blocks uh, in, in this file. So I will go ahead and echo uh, Catania 1 into, uh, let's say, common file.txt. Ah, I forgot to switch, to go into into a common space. So the main space is a virtual directory that only shows you your spaces. You can write there. And again, okay, we can. Alas, we've got the Sicily uh, picture I've uploaded uh, previously, and the the file has been created here. Now I can. Uh, List the directory on the other uh, on the other client, and we see that the metadata about this file has been replicated to uh, to the to the provider uh, ENFN. Now I will uh, append a line of text to this file in the other uh, client. So I will append uh, a line to uh, to a, a file, and we can. Uh, start the file, it's now uh, 17 bytes, and here it's also. So the metadata has been replicated. I will do, I will repeat the process so that oh, we've got a nice, uh, let's say, a check chessboard of the blocks between providers, the blocks dis distribution. Uh, echo, but this time I want to append. Right, we can check the wait for the uh, replication of metadata. Now it's 27. We can append another line. Right, again check uh, check whether the metadata has been uh, replicated. Not yet. Mm. No, it's it's replicated now. The previous uh, attempt I've made it was still 27. But the next time I, I've did the command, it, it, uh, the metadata has been uh, replicated. Uh, now I, I will append the last line here in Catania client. Uh, go ahead here, make sure that the size I is correct, and append uh, last line. The reason why I'm checking the size and waiting for uh, for the metadata replication is that uh, we are work working on the same file simultaneously. So without locks, the file will be for sure corrupted. So I have to wait so that uh, I'm sure that the, all the metadata and the data uh, in this provider is written to disk. Or is that you have to wait for the lock file to be replicated as well? Yeah, but I mean, that should be almost instantaneous, right? Uh, now I will uh, switch back to uh, GUI so that we can see the replication of the file. I will go into common space. We've got the file, common file. Quick on, uh, cl click on the uh, uh, file distribution and we've got this, uh, this chessboard I've mentioned, chessboard of, uh, uh, of blocks. What I'm going to do now is to read the file on uh, one of the providers. So in uh, Catania, I will cut the common file. And now you see that it stopped for a while. It was the process of replication the data from the uh, ENFN provider. And now we see that we've got uh, uh, the, the lines we've written to the file in a proper order. <coughs> oh, wow. <Sorry. laughs> it only stopped once because uh, the first stop was for the first request and then although it would then read another block for the local provider and then read another block from the remote provider, the rest of the blocks were prefetched. So we, we, we weren't waiting for the request again. Mm, right. All right. Uh, so now when we click on the file and check its distribution, we see that in Catania uh, there are all blocks and in ENFN we are still missing some of them. Uh, so we can go there and cut it. Once again, we are waiting a bit uh, to get the data from Catania because we are in ENFN. And when we go to 
to GUI and uh, refresh the page to make sure that everything uh, has been updated. We can see that uh, uh, the file is totally replicated uh, between providers. So they, uh, they have the, uh, the whole file. And now w if we proceed uh, appending uh, to the file, uh, we can see um, wait a second. I guess it's it's okay. And write another line here. We can switch back to our uh, our uh, GUI, and we'll see that uh, new blocks has been uh, have been appended to the file. And that's basic, basically how uh, how the Fuse client works.